Hi everyone, Vincenzo here with a new ukulele tutorial. This week, let's learn how to play the famous intro riff of Slow Dancing in a Burning Room by John Mayer. In this tutorial, I'm also gonna be teaching you the harmony part that John plays together with the main riff. On the other hand, if you're looking for the chords of this song, check out this other tutorial. Anyway, enough with the talking, let's get started. So the riff goes like this, one, two, three. Let's break it down. So you start with fret number six sliding to eight on the third string, then seven, then one on the first string and the second string open together and then fret number four on the first and second string and you slide up like this let's do this again one two three by the way for the right hand i'm using the thumb for the third string, the index for the second string, and the middle finger for the first string. I will be doing this throughout the entire tutorial. You carry on and you have seven on the second string and six on the first string at the same time. And you slide to nine, seven. Then you go back to seven, six again. Then four on the second string and two on the first string at the same time and you slide to five, four. Then you go back to four, two. Again. Let's put these two phrases together. One, two. Now you have some triads. So four on the third string, five on the second string, and four on the first string. A major triad. Then, four, five, and two, A sus two triad, and then four, four, and two, E major triad. Try to add a bit of vibrato, like this. Let's play it again, three, four. Okay, so now let's play the riff up to here. One, two, three. You're almost done. Repeat this. But the ending is slightly different. It goes like this. So you have four, five, and two. A has to try it like before. Then six, five, and two. And then four, four, and two. Let's do it one more time. And like before, add a bit of vibrato. Three, four. Let's play the entire second part. One, two, three. Now let's play the riff slowly, say at 54 BPM. One, two, three. Now let's work on the harmony part. It goes like this, one, two, three. This is played together with the main riff. And if you like to record more than one ukulele for your covers, this is a great part to include. Now, let's break it down. You have nine on the second string, then 11 and a half step bending. Notice that I'm not plucking again when I do the bending, like this, bending. Again, one, two, three,
Then half step bending from the 11th fret, release, which is this, and then nine slide to seven. Everything on the second string. One more time. All together so far, one, two, three, Then you have seven hammer on to nine and add a bit of vibrato on fret number nine, then seven and eight on the first string. Add a bit of vibrato on the last note as well. By the way, this is the movement that I'm doing for vibrato. Let's do this part one more time. Three, four. Now let's put together the entire first part. One, two, Three. For the second part, you repeat this, but the ending is slightly different. It goes like this. So, seven hammer on to nine on the second string like before, and then six on the first string slide to four. On the fourth fret, add a bit of vibrato. Let's see one more time. One. Now let's play this entire part at 54 BPM. One, two, three. Let's have a play along. The tempo that I'm gonna be following is 68 BPM. Having said that, get ready. You're about to start playing. Before we finish, I just want to say something about the guitar solo. The solo in the song is really amazing and it's based on the C sharp minor pentatonic. If you're not familiar with this scale, check out this video and let me know in the comments if you would like a tutorial for the solo. It's actually not that difficult. On my Patreon page, you can find the tabs and the chord chart from my other tutorial of this song and the backing tracks that you need for practicing this. You have three backing tracks, one at the original tempo, one slower and another one even slower. Don't forget that if you learned something from this tutorial and you would like to say thank you, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments if you managed to learn slow dancing in a burning room. And by the way, if you wanna take your playing to the next level, Check out the links in the description to learn more about the types of classes that are got available at the moment. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new tutorials. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!